In this video we're just going to create a square tile and the tile is going to have some bullnose edges on it. So I'm going to start off just by creating a square and I do that by pressing the control button and it forces it a regular shape. So there's my square and I'm just going to create a second square within that and I can do that by dragging in, pressing the shift key to um, scale around the center and then right click to create a duplicate in the middle there. I'm now going to join the edges the corners together to give the impression of having um, chamfered or bullnose edges on this particular tile. It could be either at this point in time. I'm going to take the outside object and I'm going to put a fill on that object, um, a polish. So I'm going to put uh, granite fill onto that. And uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to fill these uh, trapezium shapes on the outside using the Smart Fill tool. And you can see I can create four um, trapeziums. And I'm going to shade some of them black and some of them white. So the ones at the bottom, I'm going to shade in black. And the one on the right, I'm going to shade black. One on the top, I'm going to have white. And the one on the left-hand side, I'm going to have white. And you can immediately see that this has now given the impression of light being cast from somewhere in the top left-hand corner of the screen across the um, tile itself but at the moment they look very very flat and quite boring as well so um, the next stage we're going to do is we're going to add a transparency but what i generally do before i add the transparency is actually put into the uh, uh, tile and, and that just helps me later on work out whether my uh, the amount that i've made the transparency is accurate or whether it needs adjusting slightly so if i take my top trapezium there and i'm going to apply Oops, apply a transparency to it. Um, previously we would have just applied a uniform transparency but this time I'm going to apply a fountain transparency and what this does is it uh, gradients the transparency from completely to um, completely non-transparent at the other side. Pressing shift just means that it uh, is orthogonal so it's now um, 90 degrees to the, uh, the, the this line here um, and I don't want it to quite go out to white up there so that's the reason why I've got the uh, granite fillers. So it gives me a better idea of what these numbers ought to be. So that's going to look fine for that one. Click on this one and again go to a fountain transparency. This time it's completely wrong. I've got the black on the outside and the white on the inside. So I'm going to rotate that round. Again pressing the shift key to hold everything horizontal. And I want the black right on this edge so that it looks like the granite is rolling over um, that edge there and I'm just going to change this to somewhere in the regions of 50. You can see you can actually change each one of these color gradients independently. Next one, same process and this time I want it to be a vertical movement so I'm going to do that and I probably want that to be somewhere like that and the final one is not far out when you start off looking good final thing I need to do is I just need to remove the extra lines that I put on so I take the lines out from the corners and I'm just going to take out that square in the middle as well and you can see we've got the impression of a tile which has got rounded corners um, uh, as a bullnose edge going all the way around the tile. 